Hey guys, uh, today I'm in a beautiful studio with Umi Floral. I'm working on a project uh, for Emilia de Gite, who is a stylist, a fellow influencer, a mother, and a wonder woman. So I'm in her studio and um, she asked Umi to make an installation, hanging installation out of Pampa's grass. So I've started working there in the background. Um, and yeah, the sun is shining, the music is on, so uh, working with Umi today and uh, I'll do a little vlog, show you guys. the final result of a hanging cloud it's currently hanging on a hanger but I will put it elsewhere Emily I will hang it there in the middle above a table so yeah this is the result I want to show you the candles I got from Emilia today I'll write the name of the brand uh, who makes these candles and yeah, she let me choose a few candles because she had boxes of them and I love colorful candles I always have them on our dining table. I think they add such a nice pop of color. Instantly it lifts the space. So I have one there as well. Yeah, I love these. So, so fun, they kind of look like candy. And by the way, this is an arrangement I made recently with my own tulips that I grew these are double tulips. Oh my god. How incredible are they? So, so big. Um, and these are ice cream tulips that I bought. This is Solomon Seal, which is a spectacular plant. So beautiful. And then these look like mini bananas. It's a golden chain. Anyway, uh, Rokos took Dorian out for a walk. Um, and I'll be making our dinner tonight. I'm just gonna make um, mashed potatoes and chicken in a creamy sauce. And by the way, this clematis I bought for tomorrow because I'll be making an arrangement that will be gifted to a guy. So I really wanted to have these. Uh, I think they're so unique and sort of perfect for a guy, I think. I'm gonna peel the potatoes and prepare our dinner now. This is our dinner. Well, not done yet, but I've got chicken here, just roasting away and uh, mashing my potatoes, but we don't have a masher. So this is my makeshift potato masher. This is an empty bottle of olive oil. Some heavy cream over this goodness. So this is our dinner tonight. Today, Doran and I bought Daddy a present, a fragrance for the wedding. Uh, both Rokas and I really loved this perfume, so I thought it would be nice for him to wear it on a wedding day. It's this one by Diptyque, and I'm pretty sure I'll be stealing it from him sometimes. Um, it's actually super similar to Bay from Diptyque which will be a scent of our wedding like we got the candles and the room spray that will spray on the tablecloth 
So this one is pretty similar. It's got similar notes. It's very green, very summery. Um, I think it could be a unisex scent. I picked up this stunning necklace that I got from Ruta La Penita, a jewelry designer. I had a ring from her, made by her before, but I lost it last summer. So now I got this um, baby blue sort of zirconia. A uh, stone necklace, which I absolutely love. I wanted something baby blue that would sparkle in the summer, and um, I think I'm gonna have a ring made by her also with the same baby blue stone. So, yeah, I love it. I wanted something that I could wear every day for the summer. Look how gorgeous it will look just on the skin. These are the first self-grown flowers. We've got muscari and a bunch of tulips, different varieties, but most of them ended up being super short. And it wasn't rainy this season, so yeah. But anyway, I think they're still super cute. And it's so amazing having self-grown flowers. Guys, just look at that bucket full of tulips and muscari as well. Self-grown beauties. And I've got some beautiful white lilacs here. So I'm just gonna make little, tiny little arrangements for uh, my mother and my sister-in-law. And for myself as well. Here today I got some plants. So I've got this beautiful pink begonia, this stunning yellow celosia. Celosia. <laughs> Not sure how to pronounce that, but it's it's just so pretty. So I have this one from Tiger to hang on our balcony, and I got this metal um, white metal pot. It's actually really big. It looks like a trash can, but I just want to plant a bunch of flowers in there and just put both of them in our balcony. And then here I've got something extra special. These are handmade vases by uh, my favorite ceramicist, Gabriela Curciute. You will know her by now if you follow me. I have lots of her pieces. My favorite coffee mug is by her. And so, um, I have an event with Lindex pretty soon uh, at the beginning of June where I'll be doing a flower workshop. There will be 20 girls, um, all influencers, so they will take part in my flower workshop and they will be able to bring home a little vase with their floral arrangements home with them. So that's incredible, I think, because every single vase is unique and different and it's just such a stunning little collection and I cannot wait for the event actually. So I'll be decorating um, a brunch table because we'll have a brunch there um, and then I'll make some floral installations and then also a workshop. So it's gonna be a really big event for me and I'm so looking forward to it and yeah, I think the girls will love it as well. I mean, look how stunning all of these vases are. It's just like an army of um, handmade vases. Now, as I said, I'll be taking care of the tulips and make a little, tiny little floral vase arrangement. Look at these. I think my favorites um, have to be these ones. And I love these as well, but most of them are super short because there wasn't enough of rain 
so they were growing in a pretty dry soil. So these are all of the arrangements that I made for the table. So, so cute. Just having a few of them on the dining table. Looks so pretty, I think. And that's my dinner. <laughs> made by Rokas. Herring, potatoes, onions, and sour cream. I actually want to talk about some beauty product empties uh, really quickly in case you would like to hear my opinion because I feel like I haven't talked about beauty products in ages. Um, so yes, yeah, some hair products. Um, I finished Noah shampoo. This is with black pepper and peppermint. It's a volumizing shampoo and I'm using a second bottle that I purchased uh, of Noah. Uh, only a moisturizing one. So this was it's actually it's fortifying for weak hair and it's not volumizing but it just gives so much volume to your hair so i fall in love with this natural italian hair care brand it's two of their shampoos but they're both incredible so i do highly recommend this brand um i was honestly impressed i even posted a picture of me just woken up with like super volumized hair um, then this L'Oreal El Vital, this is their newest line with Hyaluronic, Hyaluron Plump Moisture Sealing Conditioner, really good, really like this Hyaluronic range, it smells incredible and makes your hair super soft. Um, then this is Dr. Babor, I was gifted this at an event, mm, it's a Hyaluronic cream, I wasn't impressed, it was just okay, I mean... I am currently using MATH products, MATH skincare, and their moisturizers and serums are so much better. Um, okay, next up, my Glossier Skin Tint. I've had this for ages, it lasted me a really long time, and it's a really nice product when you have good skin days. It provides pretty much no coverage at all but it just but it just stevens out your skin a little bit and it's very dewy it gives you a beautiful glow so i would buy this again for sure but as you know glossier doesn't ship to lithuania so <laughs> dorian every time he hears his sirens He's gotten out of that habit, but sometimes it comes back. I got um, quite a few <laughs> Glossier products uh, via Shipsy, which is uh, like a shipping company. So if you want to buy anything from the US, they will help you out with that. So I might have to order some of their products because uh, I'm running out of my cloud paints as well. I'm so in love with this brand. Um, okay. And then this is Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, the best concealer, I had it in number two, the best concealer I have ever tried, it lasted super long and sometimes I would use it instead of a foundation to just cover any of the blemishes, honestly, absolutely adore this concealer, would 100% buy it again. Another product that I really, really loved was this. Paes or Pace um, mascara called Cheeky. So if like me you like lengthening mascaras, this is great. It's got a rubbery um, brush. Okay, here we go. So this is the wand. Rubbery short bristles, really separating. It's a Polish makeup brand and I got it at Olesa Żurawlowa Studio in Klaipeda. Would definitely purchase it again. Such a nice mascara. Probably one of my favorites that I've tried in a long, long time. And I have a pretty similar one, actually. I mean, even the packaging is pretty much the same, just different color. So this is a brand called Swede. And these are the two products I'm currently using. They're new in my routine. Um, Pro Lash Lift Mascara. I'll show you the wand. It's a sort of crazy looking wand but it's a really nice mascara 
and then I'm also using their Pro Eyelash Growth Serum. I'll have to report on that because I mean I haven't noticed results yet but I haven't been, I've been using it for like a week now so anyway these are not empties um, and then Chanel beige I'm not sure if I mentioned it before but I finished the whole bottle and this is my all-time favorite fragrance it's sort of my signature scent um, I'm currently using Tulip by by Redo. I thought it would be an alternative to beige and probably my new scent it's amazing I love it but I still miss this one that's it just it's very comforting to me I don't know something about it is so special to me so I'll have to repurchase this so all in all I would buy all of these products except for the Babor moisturizer the rest of them are really good today I received a box from Marsana communications that Dorian wants to steal um, so they sent me a couple new products from the Isle of Paradise because um, I recently mentioned on my insta stories that I absolutely love their tanning um, foam I have it in medium and I have it on my skin right now it's really really good so they sent me some more of their products they mentioned to me that they have a, a body moisturizer so the self tanning butter um, yeah hello golden glow with color correcting actives to even skin tone that's nice so I will use this before fake tanning and um, hello golden glow so I'm assuming it's gonna give a beautiful glow for the for your skin this is light self tanning mousse and these should be drops I think uh, these are in dark I have them in medium and they're amazing I use them for my face and make sure you follow me on Instagram here's my handle because um, together with Marsana we'll be holding uh, Isle of Paradise giveaway so make sure you follow my account and my post and they also sent me a bunch of Tangle Teaser products because I love Tangle Teaser and they always hook me up uh, with the newest pieces from them. I have been using Tangle Teaser brushes for so many years now and I use mine every single day. So this is um, Detangling Wet and Dry, the original mini, which is amazing. I'll keep it in my handbag because yeah, it's such a nice compact size and F1 sort of summery color. And this is Blow Styling Round Brush. So this is my bathroom cabinet. And as you can see, these are the drops that I use in medium. I absolutely love them. And then I've got the spray as well, which I love. I spray it on my face and on the Noka's face as well before going to sleep for a nice golden glow then this is the self tanning mousse i mentioned i tried it for the first time recently and i was so in love so if you're looking for a good fake tan definitely recommend this so i'm not sure if you'll be able to tell but i've got a little bit of a tan i planted some flowers for our balcony some baby ones down there so yeah, I think it looks super sweet. Ragas and I have just ordered sushi for dinner from I Hate Sushi. To me, it's the best sushi place in Vilnius. I love Sushi Masters as well, but I hate sushi. It's so good. I love their names as well. So this one is called impossible no i think this one is impossible this one is um boys do cry um yeah so they have really cool names and uh such good food this is a bowl with tuna and then this is a wakame salad with um shiitake mushrooms oh my god so so yummy so highly recommend them um, I haven't tried Narushi sushi, I've heard that it's really good as well. Now wrap up the vlog here. Dinner was good. Did you like it, Rocky? Yes, a lot. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna chill for the night and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!